Um, my name is Dan Grace, and this is my story about an experience I had with a, a race-motivated mob. And I was 26 years old, approximately, at the time, and it happened in Panama City, Florida. And uh, this was before Panama City became the spring break uh, capital of the eastern seaboard where all the college kids go down there and party um, and I was there because I was in the Navy at the time I uh, was on active duty for five years and my last two years of duty were at a place called the Mine Defense Laboratory in Panama City Florida uh, a small naval base that was devoted to uh, experimenting with underwater ordnance and all. And I was a scuba diver and worked with explosive ordnance and all that. So that's how I happened to be there. On the other side of town, there was uh, a very large Air Force Base, Tyndall Air Force Base, which is not part of my story, but I just thought I'd mention it to give you some perspective. Anyway, so on a Sunday in 1961 or 62, I was uh, the officer of the day, as they were called, at, uh, at my naval base. And that simply meant that uh, I was in charge of anything that happened out of the ordinary, and I kind of kept track of everything. And of course it was a Sunday, so there was uh, no real activity going on in the base. But sometime in the afternoon I got a telephone call. Uh, from one of the officers of the base who lived out along the beach uh, in Panama City. And he said, you better get out here because uh, there's bad things happening. So I jumped in a staff car, drove out there to where he told me about. And uh, indeed, there was some bad things that were, the potential was there. Now you need to understand that this was 61 or 62 and this was before uh, all the, um, integration uh, had taken place and so uh, blacks, black people, African Americans uh, were still very much second class citizens, particularly in the South. Well, the Navy um, had a piece of the beach maybe a hundred yards wide that to where they had a tower that they used for experimentation work and because that was um, government, a federal government territory, there could be no exclusions. Well, and I, I should back up just a little bit. Um, blacks, African Americans, were not allowed on the public beaches uh, or to swim or, or lounge or anything like that. They were not allowed to use public beaches in Panama City, Florida, and probably any place else in the South. Anyway, but because this one chunk of land from the, from the uh, frontage road down to the uh, water's edge belonged to the federal government and, i.e. the Navy, that was open to black sailors and their wives, children, or girlfriends, or whatever. And so, this Sunday afternoon, there were some of the sailors from the base uh, that were down there partying and all. Well, the whites that were uh, partying on either side or swimming uh, and all, either side of this hundred yard stretch uh, got upset with them. Now, I don't know that the party that the, that the, uh, the party was out of bounds or anything like that. I don't think that there was anything bad, but just the fact that there were blacks down there. These white folks were getting their, their undies in a bundle, if you, if you allow me to say that. Um, anyway, and so um, just on the other side of the road, away from the beach, there was a motel there with a parking lot and all that kind of thing. Well, there was a group of 20 or 30 or 40 people, I don't know really how many, that were, uh, that were congregated there in the parking lot and sort of having a, uh, a rally about um, you know, uh, racially uh, involved. And, uh, and uh, well, when I pulled up in the Navy car and, uh, and got out, why well, they immediately set on to me and uh, talking about it, and it was, you know, I was never in any physical danger, at least I don't think I was. I didn't feel like I was, but man alive was I catching it from this, uh, from this crowd of whites because there were blacks down there on the beach. And so 
I don't know how long our discussion went on. Maybe 5, 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes. I have no idea. But I do know that during that time, why they were really getting after me and really getting after me. How could this be happening? Why don't I know? You know, yada, 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 all that stuff. And uh, so my response was, it's federal property. They have a right to be there, as much right to be there as as the white folks were on either side, you know, and uh, and of course there could have been white uh, military people could have been using that same space as well, and I don't know if there were any of them down there, but there definitely were, were African Americans. So, anyway, little by little, though, there was one fella in the mob that was so, uh, so abusive, so verbally abusive, and so much right in my face and everything, and uh, I, you know, just kept my cool because that's all about all I could do. Anyway, uh, but he was so abusive and increasingly so that I think he was embarrassing some of the rest of the folks because they little by little began to drift away. And so ultimately it was just uh, this one guy and me standing there and I, I just, I had my back to my, to my staff car and I was leaning against the car and all that so that Nobody could get around behind me, fortunately. Anyway, uh, so, and eventually he just threw up his hands, swore at me, and stomped off to his car and, and, and drove away. Well, at that point, I noticed that on the far side of the parking lot, there was a sheriff's car sitting there with two deputies in it. And so I thought to myself, well, okay, I suspect that they were there, and I had not noticed them until everybody was gone, but that evidently they were there, some, they pulled up sometime after I got there, and were just sitting there to make sure that this mob did not turn uh, violent or anything, and that I wasn't in any danger, and nor were they in any danger, any of the people there, to, from anybody else. So anyway, um, this was an event that, uh, one of two events that, that were racially motivated that I was a party to, or you know, let's say drawn into, but uh, you don't want to hear the other story uh, because one's all, sh all uh, you need and I've finished my story and it was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for sharing with us. You are